We sent a team of celebrities to investigate paranormal activity in a severely haunted location. We gave them ghost hunting equipment. We gave them until sunrise. And then we left them all alone. There's definitely something back there. This is hell on earth. The place is haunted. The place is haunted. Lock them up! Cramped, brutal. Looks like it was ransacked. Home for thousands of murderers. I am in the execution chair. Oh my god. So much. He was present at every hanging and. He is a bad dude and he's righteous. I feel something back in this place again! No! We're seeing something on the monitor. There's something here right now. Okay, that's great. That's what we came here for, right? I don't like being alone. What is that? Okay, we're going in. Okay, we have stepped inside. No, 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 no. One, two. What's going on? There's a presence, for sure. 13, 14. Where are you? You know. 17, 18. They're everywhere. I hear Big time. Yeah. I, you know, I'm really glad we came in, in the day. I have the envelope. Should I read this? That's okay, well, sure. look, here I go. Here She's already hiding. hiding. <laughs> I heard you're quite chicken. Okay, so plug right. your ears, here. Missy. Tonight, you and your fellow team of paranormal investigators will be entering the maximum security prison known as The Walls. Many tortured ghosts still Great. haunt these grounds. Yeah, Fabulous. Yeah. Okay. Search for the ghost of one man who was responsible for the deaths of, okay, over 150 people, but he never spent a single day behind bars. Now, why would we go look for sure. him? Because we're idiots, but there you go. <laughs> Good luck on your investigation. Good luck to you, too. We have a map. I'm Mariel Hemingway. I'm an actress. I'm also a writer and a producer. spiritual person and I think that there's good and bad energy out there so why am I here I don't know <laughs> there's always something in me that always likes to do something that I'm a little afraid to do ready Ooh, it's scary come on team let's stick together look at you you're like you don't we know about can you relax ever. you'll get in okay? I'm excited I know, I'm like you are. Fired up. I know you are I am peekaboo street I am a Glorified ski bum. I've had some success on uh, in, on the Olympic ski level, and I'm now a mom. I am very much so a believer in the paranormal. I personally have had a lot of crossover visitors. Peekaboo I have a feeling oh. had many paranormal experiences. Yeah, We're yeah, all like, true. yeah, the don't. Only great moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Wow, it's still light out. very impressive. Like I'm Tanya, and I guess you would know me from real world. I totally believe in paranormal. I'm not a skeptic. I sort of run from it at all costs. Help me! I have a lot of experiences. Like, I can go to a hotel and walk into a room and get a certain feel about it, and I have to move rooms. And I've always been like that. And my friends all think I'm just nuts. Okay, come on, let's go. No! Don't shut me. I'm claustrophobic. No, I'm really not kidding. Oh, my God. Oh, no, he pointed. Okay, this There's is the cameras. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, I love this. The oh. devil is not in here. F you. Who believes in ghosts? Me. Me. If you asked me a year and a half ago, I would have said, I don't believe in ghosts at all. My, my daughter just saw something. She saw a, person, a ghost in a, in a hotel room. My name is Michael Bergen. I'm an actor. You might have seen me in uh, some of the episodes of Baywatch. I played JD. I don't believe 100% that I, I'm, I 
have an open mind to it. I had a few conversations about ghosts with my wife, and I started asking a lot of friends. And I told them what I'm here to do. Their faces just dropped, and they're just like, oh my God. Joe, what about you? You believe in ghosts? Hey, no. You don't? I, no, but I believe in something else out there. Yeah, I'm Joe Piscopo. I'm an entertainer, basically. Catholic from New Jersey, and I believe in the saints, I believe in God, deal with it. What I'm doing here, I have no idea. I like, you like Tanya's ghost-busting outfit, though, is my favorite. <laughs> it's good, I mean, you know, yeah. let's, let's try not to attract the horny yeah. ghosts, okay? Yeah, like... Who knows anything about ghosts? I mean, who knows what to do and what not to do, and you do? Peek -a I do know that, so, you know, some of them are stuck, some of them have chosen to be where they are, some of them have not. And, do you know um, how they feel about me? <laughs> <laughs> this is a situation that I've never wanted to put myself into. At the same time, I feel like if I did it and was a little more knowledgeable, maybe I'd be less afraid. Okay, so, Muriel at the helm. <laughs> Love it. Welcome to Base Camp. This computer will guide you on your investigations as you explore the hauntings of the Wall's Maximum Security Prison. The prison known as The Walls opened in 1893. It housed the most dangerous and violent criminals of the time. But the most violent man to ever step foot inside The Walls was the first warden, Tom Grisham. Grisham. He looks freaky. Cruelty and brutality were hallmarks of Warden Grisham's tenure. Under his watch, hundreds of prisoners were executed inside The Walls, and hundreds more died as a result of violence perpetrated by other prisoners and the warden himself. In 1921, Warden Grisham met his own violent end when he was shot dead in his office by an inmate. In the years that followed, guards and prisoners alike reported feeling an unearthly presence lurking within the prison. Many believe that the ghost of the warden continues to walk these halls, maintaining his eternal vigil in this prison. Your mission tonight is to determine which of the four areas you will investigate is the most paranormally active. This area is called the heart of the haunting. Your first investigation, are you ready? It goes, guys. Okay, I want to go, go first, because I won't be able to do this. You do? I need to go first. Really? If someone comes out freak, freaked out, I won't go. This investigation will take you to the prison yard where the warden allowed prison riots and brutal attacks to take many of his prisoners' lives. Select two members to conduct this investigation. Okay, so we've got Tanya. Me and Pico. Okay. Take the thermal camera. I have to take this whole thing. Tanya is very energetic and very anxious. And she's physical, so that'll that'll help. Like if we had to run, I don't know that I could outrun her, so. <laughs> Girls and good, girls and good. You hot, baby. <laughs> I don't care about being hot at this point. Sweetie, it's better to look good than to feel good. <laughs> well, let's be honest, look at her. Peekaboo is really cool. She's not gonna put up with a lot of bull And if I'm crying in a corner, she'll probably smack me right out of it. I think she has the most experience with the paranormal, so she could actually really freak me out. <laughs> You're gonna be great, this is him, awesome. Go get him, guys. Good luck. You're so cool. Oh! No, you're fine. You're you got fine. it. You got it. Come on. What's up, girl? Just watch your pudding. That's all. Can something happen? Will something happen? Got to stay tuned because it's a distinct possibility that something might happen. Don't leave. Come on, just please. Let's go together. I don't know if I can do this. You're so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. Don't leave. Come on, just please. Okay, girls, this is uh, Michael Bergen. You're a base commander. Uh, walk left down the hallway until you reach the intersection with the stairs on your right. So this is this is the left he's talking about. So after that, you turn right and continue walking until until you see a cell door and short set of stairs going down. Okay. Cell door and a short set of stairs walking Got it. down. Okay. Continue walking forward until you see a small counter made of Got brick it. on your left and a closed cell door in front of you. Those are bullet holes. Dude, those are bullet holes. Those are bullet holes. Oh, 
neck and walk into the barred area. Close the sliding door behind you. You should now be in a cell attached to the main building. Confirmed. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to... The recreation yard was the site of many violent outbreaks between the inmates of this penitentiary. The only chance a prisoner had of surviving an attack was to run to this cage in hopes that the guard on duty could shut the gate in time to keep out the assailant. That's how it came to be called the Door of Life. However, Warden Grisham would sometimes step in and lock the gate just as the fight began to teach the convicts that he held total control over their fate. He would then watch them fight to the death from the safety of his cage. Visitors here have reported sensations of nausea, panic, and death, and many of them have felt Warden Grisham's menacing gaze peering at them from just inside these bars. Peekaboo, you will first set up the thermal camera to monitor your investigation. Spread out your legs. Uh, I'm sorry? Peekaboo, spread out the legs of the tripod <laughs> and pull it out over the rock. Make sure the thermal camera is pointed directly at the door of life. Tripod is in place. We can see the video. That is Tanya, right? Not, not something else? Yeah, bitches. I ain't scared. Next, peekaboo. Red areas indicate heat and energy. Blue areas indicate cold spots. There's something here right now. Just come, 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 come. No, 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 no. You're all right. Tony, are you okay? I see that you left. Oh, that's because I, uh, I just heard a really big thud, like a jail wall. Something, something. I don't give a I'm staying next to Peekaboo. Period. Hang on, hang on. Just calm down. I'm right here. I got a hold of you. Breathe. Ooh, she is in control, man. She's the she's the strongest. Peekaboo is the strongest. I don't want to be out here anymore. You're freaking out. I want out of here. Hang on, just hang on. If something's there coming this way, they're gonna surf it. Whoa. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yep. What was it? I don't know, but it was right there. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. Um, we're seeing something on the monitor here, inside the guard, uh, the barred door where you guys were. We're seeing something move. <gasps> There's definitely something back there. There is something back there. There is. Please. Oh my God. What is that? We're seeing oh some movement. Oh my God. That is totally bloody weird. We definitely just had some action in the hallway. Second time for me. There's a presence for sure here with us right now. Do they see anything? All right, uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, please don't. But if I can, if I can get Tanya to go back down by the door of life, um, uh, I'm not gonna go there. No, I, I, I'm sure I just freak myself out. Okay, you know what? Um, There's nothing there now. That, that, that energy that is, is gone. Uh, okay, we're done. Wrap our mission Wrap, and we'll go done. in. Yep. All right, let's head back. Whoa, it's amazing as you walk. Right as I walk across here, I get nauseous. Okay, okay. let's go. Let's just go. Okay. I don't. I gotta pee so bad. Oh, did you hear that? Whoa! Oh, you you heard that? Yeah. What what's going on? I have been very very very. I know. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello hello. Oh, oh right okay. There. It's hey, a little it's a little eerie. That's awesome. Oh, you're out there awesome. really in the long time. Were we really? Oh, awesome. It's so amazing. Yeah. We I saw this see. weird, like, honestly, there was a thing. It looked like a serpent. It was so bizarre. It was, like, weird. It was, like, it looked like an alien sort of, like, it was, like, serpentine. I made sure I wasn't pressing the button. I didn't want you guys to, to hear me overreacting. Freak out a little, yeah. yeah. I'm over here. I'm leaning over. I'm like, what the is that? That's exactly what we did. I did not tell and you, you dude. You just, uh, weird. So weird. So weird. Somebody else's turn. Who's going out next? I think Mariel and I'm going to do go with yeah. you. Yeah, it's Mariel and Michael. This investigation will take you to where Warden Grisham watched over 30 men die. You know where you guys are going, right? No. Where are we to going? To the electric chair. We are not. He watched 30 people die. Where else did he watch 30 people die? 
Michael, take the digital voice recorder and envelope C. My very first acting experience was a TV show called Central Park West. And Mariel Hemingway, she was the star of the show. And man, I, I, I was horrible. My, my mother, the only thing she said is, don't let the ghosts know that you're afraid. I think they know. Oh, I think they know, man. Michael. They know. Oh. I know. Michael. It will be interesting to see where he lands, whether he lands into Pussboy Land or if he's like fully, you know, the superhero. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Okay. Break your leg. Hang in there. Be strong. Breathe. Here we go, guys. Okay, where are we going? Take the stairs down and walk forward. Passing through several sets of barred doors. Enter the yard. Confirm when you are standing in the yard, please. We are in the yard now. To the left is a low building. OK, yeah, we see it. Now open the bar door and enter into the building. I don't like that sound. We are walking into the really attractive area of the building. It's a little tight and scary in here, guys. This is the guard room for death row. We have to go all the way in? Uh, walk down the ruined cells and through two open doors. Walking down the corridor. These are the death row cells where prisoners awaited their final sentence. This particular row of cells is home to some of the most intense paranormal activity on the property. My camera keeps turning off. When you have reached the Come end, and you should be standing in front of a large cell with a base made of brick. There's a brick on uh, uh, the left and right entrance to the Executioner's chair, and it's uh, it's pretty gnarly, dude. All right, I'm gonna read you a little something now. Yeah, we'll move this quickly because it's weird in here. My camera turned off. Michael, it says here to sit in the electric chair in an attempt to get the ghost of Warden Grisham to speak to you. I have to do it. I mean, this is scary. Michael, it says here to sit in the electric chair in an attempt to get the ghost of Warren Grisham to speak to you. I have to do it. I mean, this is scary. Can you hear me? Uh, we just heard a big bang. Make it quick. Sit in the chair. We'll go on to the next one. You ready? We're all friends here. Love you guys. Just visiting. <laughs> What's next, buddy? Between the years of 1911 and 1921, Warden Tom Grisham sentenced dozens of criminals to death in this very electric chair. Just before throwing the switch, Grisham would lean in and whisper to the condemned man one last time. To this day, witnesses continue to hear that same raspy whisper in this death chamber, and the unexplainable creaking noises within suggest that the warden is still carrying on his bloody work from beyond the grave. Holy mother of Moses! Yeah. Mariel, open the envelope, hand the item inside to Michael through the bars, please. After you turn on the digital voice recorder, you will read the words on the card out loud to coax the ghost of Warden Grisham uh -huh. to respond to you. You should repeat the words slowly and clearly and keep recording to encourage the ghost to respond. I am about to read the words on the card. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me even for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, they rod and thy staff. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my goodness and mercy shall follow me thou the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, I'm done reading. There's a massive amount of activity in here. here it let's is. move look, it on. Look at let's, it. Let's, let's, let's move on. Can you hear me? Michael, Marielle, you guys hear me? Do you copy? Can you hear me? 
Let's let's move. I say we get out of here. Open that door. Okay. I'm okay. coming out of this hole. Yeah. I am sweating my freaking ass off. Insanely scared. Oh. This is kind of bad. Yeah, this is bad. I don't, I don't like. Oh my god. I can't handle this. I need to pray. Who's that? I think they're calling us in. All right, come back to us. That was so not cool. Woo! <laughs> Man, you guys heard it. Oh! Oh my god! That was so evil. What it's, happened when you and raised it? There was tons it. of noise in there. I mean, there was like, like. What do you mean by noise? Describe there was the just, noise. There, there's, there's a big. There, there's a big clank when we first yeah, walked in. Like, like it was a big, thing. like there like, was like weird. You, where, where, is the digital recorder right here? Because we want to see if there's any voices on the digital recorder. We're do a Can we see it? I, I don't even know if I want to hear something on there right now. I, I think I'll, I may faint if I know that you were in there with that. With the voice, exactly. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Is that my voice? Yeah. yeah. I sound like God. You do. <laughs> you hear the thing in the back. Thy staff. Thy staff. They Come on! No. Did you guys hear that? No. That was breathing. That's how it was like. That was like. Oh. What the f is that? <laughs> That's so cool. That's so scary. I'm telling you, that room was not a happy anoint, place. Anoint is my <gasps> head with oil, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, I'm done reading. Oh, Could you on. hear that? Oh, you were in there? No. That was breathing. That's how, it was like, the that's chair. so the chair. black so and white. Real. Which chair? It's so weird. All right, so who's next? You and I are going next, right, Peekaboo? I, just, I hope we don't get separated. <laughs> this investigation will take you to the place where Warden Grisham died. We're going to his office, Michael. With spirits, a lot of times you have to be kind of assertive with them and just be like, you know what? You're stuck here. You need to beat it. It's cool. You can go, man. It's all good. Oh, and you know he's going to be there. Peekaboo, um... She's not scared at all. I think she's the one that I'm like really hide behind, you know. You're, you're freaking right now, huh? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I'm the <laughs> here. No, well, well, Michael, of course, easy on the eyes. To come to find out, he's a little bit fearful. I was like, oh well, I hope that he overcompensates for his fear with like, er, you know, sturdiness. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna be great. You're with the so woman. I'm good. I'm good. Peekaboo, take the laser thermometer. Paranormal energies may make changes in your equipment. Let's watch his temperature as he goes. 91, 93. Nice. Oh, done. Toodaloo, team. All right, go get him, guys. If I don't come back, call my wife. Tell my my son and my daughter I love them. When you reach the third floor, there will be a water fountain located against the wall directly in front of you. OK, we're at the water fountain. This is the third floor of the administration building where you will find Tom Grisham's office. Michael, you will continue with the investigation alone. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Make sure that you have the EMF meter and the envelope. You are looking for the open door to the woman's office. Was that your light? It's my laser. I'm just scoping the area for you. Okay, I see an open door on the right. Hello, I come in peace. Enter the room, locate and pass through the glass door on the left, marked private. What is that? So hold on, I, I heard something. Hold on, hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm not listening. I'm sorry. I'm a little spooked. Let me check out this room. I, I heard something. Hold on, hold on. Give me a... Jesus. Scary, man. I am in the room. I'm just inside the first door. I'm a little spooked. Let me, uh, let me check out this room. Hello, I come in peace. I'm bricks. Um, I see a, there's a door in the room, and it has uh, what appears to be blood stains. 
Just blood stains all over the door, that's all. Michael, sit at the warden's desk in an attempt to get the ghost of Warden Grisham to make itself known. Okay, I'm sitting at the desk. Okay, pay attention. Whenever Warden Grisham brought an inmate to his office for a one-on-one -on -one meeting, he would intimidate the prisoner by placing a revolver on his desk. But on one occasion, in the summer of 1921, the warden lost control of his pistol and was shot dead by a vengeful convict named Benjamin Willis. Since that fateful day, administrators have repeatedly felt a swift movement of air in and out of this room, as if the souls of Grisham and Willis continue to pass through here. I would not want to be in there right now. Michael, to coax the warden's ghost into making itself known, open the envelope and you will read the list of names of those whom Grisham executed. It's like the one thing you don't do. <laughs> Uh, okay, first one, Jason Moore, convicted of rape and executed by electrocution on July 20th, 1916. J.C. Walters, convicted of rape and executed by electrocution on July 1st, 1918. Erwin Falsop, Fred Elling, William Walken, Leroy Young, convicted of murder and executed by electrocution, convicted of murder and executed by electrocution, 1918, August 10th, 1921. That's the end of the list. Michael, do you have any findings, any feelings, anything? Just a little hot. I don't feel anything. I don't sense anything. I think that place has been done. I don't know. Their area is just not active right now. I actually heard um, quite a obnoxious rumbling down the right hallway. I am not alone. Now what? Peekaboo, are you there? Oh my goodness. I, I, I heard something. Hold on, hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. What the hell was that? This is scary, man. What is that? Hello, can you hear me? What's that noise? He can't hear me. Muriel, can you hear Michael? Hello, can you hear me? Muriel. Are you still there? We got disconnected. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do I hold on? Michael, peekaboo? Ah! Peekaboo. You scared the out of me. Good man, that was a crazy one. I was so spooked. What happened? I was trying to get in touch with you and I lost contact. This building itself has some funky funk. I literally heard shuffling of footsteps and the moving of a piece of furniture and... Oh hell no. I had one brush up against my arms my arm, and go down the stairs. All right. Next victims. Merle and Joe. Merle. <laughs> Merle and Joe. We're gonna send the old ones out. <laughs> no, she's not old, please. Yeah. Stop, I'm old. One old guy. I'm kidding. Joe Piscopo, of course, we're a bit of the same generation, I hate to admit. It was back in the 80s. You know, bad hair, bad outfits. He's going to be kind of the one that is, you know, kind of more solid as a rock. You have to take sack A. This is sack A. Great. It's Mariel Hemingway. I mean, that's so how cool is that? This is this is a classy lady. This is for my kids. I was Michael. Do I look really, really like a, a Ghostbuster, or do I look I like ridiculously say, stupid? Yeah, you look like Dan Aykroyd. Man, yeah, that's yeah. what I want to hear. Bye, y'all. Good okay, luck. Guys, Good see luck. You later. Okay. See you later. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. Wow, man, just watch him go down that hallway. It's like yeah. We're out near the outside. You need to keep walking forward until you have gone through the door of life and entered the yard. Wow, this is freaky out here. Look to the right for a large metal door. It's Wait, right that, here. That scary building? Yes. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident that that's the building. Yes. <laughs> They're wanting you to go yes. to, sweetie. That's not. Oh, no. Oh. All right. OK, we're going in. OK, we have stepped inside. You're looking for cell number 14. Okay. Take the walkway and walk down the line of cells. 14, we're at 14 now. Is that where we're supposed to be? We're at 14. Excellent. During a desperate escape attempt in 1918, 
prisoners of cell block C set fire to their beds, thinking it would force the guards to unlock the cell doors. Instead, Warden Grisham ordered his men to stand down, allowing the convicts to burn to death. After the blaze was extinguished, the warden strolled down the corridor, tapping his club against the bars and counting the dead bodies aloud as if he were carrying out his ninth roll call. In the years following Grisham's death, residents of cell block C could still hear the sounds of his nightstick echoing through the halls. I, s I smell a bit of smoke. Yeah, we actually got a little smoke going. Yeah, Just a bit. I smell a little charred. Mario, you have been chosen to reenact the warden's patrol through the cell block. Make sure you have the sack with you. Joe, you will wait inside cell 14 while Muriel performs Grisham's patrol. Naturally. Bye-bye. <laughs> Is he is locked in the cell. <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> now because she has to go all the way up to three. Um, you have to walk up the left hand stairs to level three. No, I gotta go up there by myself. Okay, I'm going up the stairs. Mm -hmm. You're doing great, sweetie. Just take a couple of deep breaths. Okay. I'm at the top of the stairs. I really don't like it up here. Mary, you will now walk down the catwalk and bang the baton twice against the cell block doors. Count each tap out loud as you go. Oh! Oh, okay. Um, I felt like somebody was coming up the stairs. Okay, I don't... That didn't feel good. What happened? Okay. Oscar, what's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. How far do I have to go? I hear something in there. I don't want to go. In. She's very scared. I couldn't do that. Get your back out here. I can't even tell you how hard it is to sit here and listen to her be that upset. Jaguar on Goro, Jaguar on Goro. Okay, I'm flipping going back. It was absolutely terrifying because I felt like somebody was following me. <laughs> Joe, are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. Are you okay? Okay, I'm a puss. So, so tell me what happened. I felt so bad I couldn't be with you. <laughs> I wanted to go rescue you. <laughs> it really meant I wanted to rescue myself. Thank you. I think you had you had all the action going on down there. Nothing happened in here. So that's okay. And the night's not over, though. Yeah, I know. So we don't know. I'm moving towards the entrance or the exit. I'm going, I'm going outside. Oh, I'm happier out here. The nice, nice outside. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I was with Joe, I was like, okay, we are like, we smelled the smoke. It was, you know, it was peculiar. And it wasn't that I wasn't scared, but it was, you know, it was okay. And then going up to the third level freaked me out. It was really... Oh, sure. I was looking at this reading. Well, then I felt out. like somebody was chasing me. I honestly thought I was going to pass out, too. Did you really? Like, oh, my God, I've never passed out. Yeah, see, I, I looked at both of them, and I said, you guys, she's really scared. <laughs> I was really scared. Like, well, you look pretty. <laughs> you did. You did look great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sure. you have completed your investigation of the Walls Maximum Security Prison. As a team, discuss your findings and decide which of the areas you have investigated is the most paranormally. Oh, obviously. Like, oh. What do you, Mariel? You went to both C Block and to the electric chair. Yeah. I think <laughs> that you have to choose. Well, I would, I would say cell block C was really terrifying for me. But I have to say, the electric chair, I mean, you, there was def definitive sound. We heard There's a massive amount of activity in here. Let's move it on. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would have to say the electric chair. All right, so I'll put the electric chair in the Okay, mix. then kick at that. Discuss which member of the team made the strongest connection to the spirits. It's not me. That is you. No, it's not me. Your thing was was by far the most amazing. 
Tanya is, uh, she's freaking out. Tanya brought out something, we saw it. No, no, and no. Don't pick me. I will get out of here. Tanya, we just gotta watch out for it, because this is gonna be a problem. I can't go by myself, I will die. Team member that your team has determined made the strongest connection to the spirits. Virtually um, the rest. Don't pick me. I don't think I'm feeling very good. Um, I'm I am very very nervous. Very nervous. Peekaboo, really I think you had the most because you could feel things going past and you weren't freaked by them. I wasn't open to them. I didn't, I didn't feel nothing either. I was in my pants. Peekaboo, is? Yeah, I peekaboo. For your final mission, the entire team will return to the electric chair, the area you identified as the heart of the haunting. Peekaboo will act as the conduit in your final task. She will serve as the bridge between this world and the spirit world. Are we gonna have sands? Open a large wooden box in front of the desk. Bring the following items with you. The rolled up scroll from the wooden box, the small green book with your final instruction, a ring of jailer keys. This artifact is closely tied to the ghost haunting this area, and you will use it to help you contact the spirit world. I think as a team, as a whole, we're, we're pretty chill in general. Seance my ass. But everything's going to change. Everything's going to change. We're ready to go? We're on our way. Last We're going. Okay. We're out of here. Let's okay. do it, team. Yeah. We're coming back in five minutes. It's the drive through seance. The drive through seance. Guys, I'm getting really scared. Okay. All right. We're, we're, all, all, together, we're, we're all together. This is all about being together. Okay. It's a little tight and scary in here, guys. Okay, here's a chair. Okay, you ready? Leave it right there. Yeah! Oh! Sorry. Oh! I heard so majorly something right behind me. Are you ready? This is the channeling scroll. It is designed to focus the group's psychic energy and help you make contact with the spirits haunting this area. Place the final mission object in the square in front of the conduit, where the conduit must keep their left hand on the object. The other two team members must keep their left hand on the handprint in front of them. Each investigator must read aloud the words written on the channeling scroll three times. After the third reading, the spirit should be with you and ready to communicate. It's okay, you're okay, baby. I don't want to, I don't, you can do it. It's okay, you're yeah, cool. You know, you're, you're cool. You're, you're, you're we're cool. all together, we're all together, so we're, we're safe. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. Are you angry or in pain? Who are you? You know. Do you realize what you've done here? Yeah. Do you have any regrets? No. No, I can't do this, I'm done. Please. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, we're almost done. Good. Do you hear that? Yeah. Heard? There you go. Oh, it's okay, dude. It's okay. He is a bad dude and he's righteous. He doesn't care. <laughs> he's proud of all this. Really proud of all this. God. Stay with us. You are no longer welcome here. Our circle is closed to you. Go and leave us in peace. Hey, we're good. We get to we're return good. now. They're everywhere. It's crazy. Get the f please. All right. Okay, we're gone. Fill the air. Fill the air. Please. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. They're all on me now. Oh, I feel a lot of right now. Yeah, they're on me right now. It's like right
right here. Oh, I've got, can we get the oh, out of here? Oh. Okay, that was so intense. He was on me and he was laughing, he was, he was laughing at us. I don't know if I learned anything about myself tonight. I think I might have gotten confirmation that if I do get myself in the right space, I can be a medium. And that was weird to have somebody else in me, sort of. <laughs> that was creepy, man. That was creepy. Yes, I believe. I'm a strong guy. I step up and I will protect my family. I'll protect my friends. Not tonight, man. I just, I, I saw, I saw the weakest I've ever, I've ever been. Group hug. Group hug. Yeah. I love you guys. You guys yeah. were awesome. That was amazing. Amazing. It was a lot more than I expected. This is this is not a happy place to be. Okay, guys, let's go. So we're going the same way out that silly walkway that we love so much. Okay. Great. I learned that uh, I don't think I have uh, much fear. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm old. We come in peace again. You know, you're looking at the skeptic in the group over here. But something's going on here. There is some, ex there is some paranormal activity in this uh, prison. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was a good experience. I'm glad I did it, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> it was almost like it was a dream because it was so powerful. Quite honestly, I was terrified. And in those moments that I was, it was coming from such a deep place. I had buried that fear so hugely. Because it feels a bit surreal. Give me a home where the buffalo roam and the few and the antelope play. I'm singing from the domain. So, you don't think I'm insane? <laughs>